What the? Of course, as soon as I start recording, an explosion with lightning happens. <laughs> well, anyway, hello, people, and welcome back to another... Man, that lightning is nasty. Okay, well, how about we go? How about we just skip the intro and get on to what I'm doing? <laughs> because, damn it. Actually, you know what? I should probably just condense the ground itself now that I have an excess of it. So, I'll put some of these in. I'm about to kill the sky. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill the sky. Uh, honestly, that's insane. How much just... Okay, so... I am ground... Oh, that's that's very funny. I'm, I'm absolutely in stitches over here. Okay, okay. Now, what do we do with grout? Okay, hold on. That's, that's amazing. Crafting it, you can make seared brick. Good, good, good. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Seared brick. So, I'll put it. Okay, so. Quarter of a stack here. 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 Need more coal. Mm -hmm. There's some more cooked stone. Uh -huh. And then another quarter of a stack here. And another quarter of a stack here. Yep, that'll really speed up the grout cooking process. So, yeah. <sighs> but yeah, as of uh, as of yesterday, um, the Minds of Insanity uh, Beta Season Three Pack link should be available in the description of all future videos. Uh, now, do keep in mind this isn't a finished product. There is absolutely no guarantees behind it. If you want to throw caution to the wind and play this in Minecraft, well, more power to you, but do note, it may get kind of crazy further on in, it may get very unoptimized, and we still barely even began to scratch the surface. It's much closer to alpha than beta, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, so there, there's our little disclaimer for you. Um, also, I know Charlie's probably going to splice into some kind of Kevin McLeod song. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, I think pumpkins can only be placed on dirt, so I'm, I'm just going to break these blocks and put some dirt for them to place onto. So, hey, let me get some dirt. Because apparently, you know, for some odd reason they're not growing. I, I don't know why. But, you know, here's some dirt. Let's, let's go put some dirt on some stuff. Now they'll grow properly. How about the harvesting crops? Now, here's something uh, that may or may not be popular right about now. Um, I was invited to an open beta of Grand Theft Auto 6. Uh, the issue is, I don't like Grand Theft Auto anymore. And I know that's not a popular thing to be said, but let me explain why. In online mode, I had a beautiful luxury yacht that costs about $11 million. I worked very hard and very long to earn that money. to lie, I did put some actual money into the game. Um, the problem is, one day, I got very busy and did not show up for a while. 
And when I came back to GTA 5 Online, I still had tons of money. My yacht was gone. My yacht, which I had spent all that time and money that I enjoyed very much and that I used as a mobile base of operations in whatever area I was doing missions in, had been taken from me, never to return again. And Rockstar, with all of their cheeky jackassiness, had designed a system where they could get away with doing this because yachts are neither registered as Pegasus vehicles or properties. So they easily took my yacht and did not give it back. They stole from me, in other words. They stole from me. And that is why when I was offered to join the GTA 6 beta, I told them I would not beta test for them if they gave me a million dollars. And I meant every word of it. I still refuse to beta test for them for a million dollars. Professor Fassett just walked in. Cool dude. Yeah, he seems to be looking for his umbrella. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. that the farms have been successfully harvested. These things really are not growing fast at all. Hmm. So, I have a plan. It's time to start working towards some interesting and better gear. A ring. Chicken wing ring. Okay. Requires a golden lasso with a chicken. Requires iron ingots. But it also requires grit power. It requires ender shards, which requires ender pearls. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Hmm. There's actually one more. Here, I'd like to put something on display right here. There. Yes. Right. Let's go. One moment, people. Okay, and we are back. Sorry for the momentary interruption. Now, let's continue. So, I'm not overly happy about how this situation is going. So, I think the smart thing to do here would be to grab one of my griffins and head into the Twilight Forest. Here's this cool dragon skull again. Now, some people may be saying, now, Freddy, why is it that you, uh, you aren't just pushing the griffin into the portal? And I have a very good answer. It's, uh, <laughs> it's that if I do that, he may be gone by the time I get him. Uh, also, I better not use that. So, um, he's in my inventory now, and he should be perfectly safe. So, I'm going to go into the Twilight Forest here, and I'm going 
going to have a little fly around with him. Now, another thing. We spawned in a dark forest biome, which normally is not a very safe place to spawn. It is, in fact, one of the most dangerous biomes in the Twilight. Luckily for me, I just so happen to be very, very smart. Okay, so, I brought with me some blocks, thankfully. Who's ever been trapped in the dark forest will tell you it is no picnic. But I luckily have a way around. Uh oh. Apparently. There is no way I am going to pass through the under part of this forest. I need light. I need light. Where are my torches? Here I have some coal. Sticks. Make some torches to give me some semblance of light. Okay. So, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Is that a bat? For a fact that I'm going to need a bat. I'm going to go and put my griffin back. You know what, actually, I'm going to get some more golden lassoes. That's what I need. I need ladders and golden lassoes. So it does not have an EMC because it requires experience to create. Suppose I could just leave the griffin in here for the moment and go and get that bat. That's what I'll do. Hopefully the bat will not have moved between now and then. And it's gone. <laughs> it's squeaking and flapping around as bats are wont to do. Here, but I can't. Large amount of mushrooms, it seems. Actually, you know what? I don't have any mushrooms. I could use these for condensing.
sounds like some kind of... <gasps> oh my god, Goblin Knights. Run. Yeah, cool. Hmm. I should probably mark this location on the map and turn back. Goblin Dungeons. Mm. Nasty business. Ironically, I generated right next to one. I'll need to empty out my inventory. This is definitely no place for a... Definitely no place for me, anyway. <laughs> uh, I just put all this stuff in here. Wait, what? Where is my griffin? I put it down right in here. Where has it vanished? What has happened to my griffin? Oh, I know what's going on. No, no, no. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. Well. There isn't going to be any getting him down. into the middle distance. That's a bad thing you're doing, Griffin. A very bad thing. <sighs> Let me go get a stick. So for future reference, I should definitely keep them inside, so they cannot do that. Also, apparently my griffin has turned invisible. So, I'm going to have to go and get that griffin. Okay, he's decreasing in altitude. Maybe if I am lucky, he will come down to me. If I can get something to attack me, he'll come to defend my, my personage. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm just going to have to go into creative mode and fly up there to get him to stop. 
because this is nonsense. That bird should not be all flying around like a crazy person. But yeah, I'm going to cut it here, and I'm going to get that bird back, so I'll see you all in a few minutes.